close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us Welcome back to my channel. So today I have another awesome collab for you, this time with the beautiful Kelly April. I will insert her image somewhere in here and her information in the box below. So be sure to head on over to her channel and check her out after you've watched my video. As you can see, we're doing our top fall lipsticks under $5. I actually have five lipsticks that I will be showing you in this video, one of which I am wearing now, and we will get into that in just a moment. I just wanted to say that Pretty much all of my lipsticks are new except for one. Uh, reason being is I have recently thrown out a lot of my older lipsticks and makeup in general. But the ones that I'm going to be showing you, I have worn them or swatched them. So I don't know if I want to swatch them. I'll probably remove each color and show it to you applied on my lips just so you get a better idea of how it looks. I have fair skin, but I did try to uh, get darker colors than I normally pick because it seems year round I tend to gravitate towards soft pinks, which is, I don't know, that's just me. Anyways, I'll try not to make this video too long and drawn out, so jumping right into the first color I am wearing. This one is by Maybelline and it is called Peachy Scene and it looks like so. You can see that. The thing I love about Maybelline's lipsticks is they are so creamy and hydrating. And this peach, I feel like, I don't feel like it's only for the fall time. I just think it's a beautiful color in general. But I think for a daytime look, this is an awesome color to wear. So this is my first fall favorite lipstick that I recently purchased. I'm just going to use some cotton rounds and some of my simple um, makeup remover to take it off so I can show you the next color. Okay, so the next color is by Black Radiance. And I don't really know what color it is. I remember when I picked it up, the colors were listed like on the little plastic flap. But I don't know, the number is 5115 if you can see that so here's what that looks like I feel like this is more me this is definitely something I would wear in the fall time um, I know that black radiance is supposed to be um, geared towards more of a darker skin tone or the african-american um, products because the pictures in their section in the store were just for um, just only had african-american females but I don't care. I'm still gonna <laughs> wear this. And it was very cheap. I think this one was um, $2 and some change. I know the Maybelline one I just showed you was like $4.90 something maybe. All of these that I purchased were from Walmart except for one and I will tell you about that when I get to it. But yeah, so this is Black Radiance number 5115. I think I'll probably keep that one on today once I finish swatching these or showing these to you guys. Because I really love that color and it's also really creamy and moisturizing. And it's just beautiful. I feel like it plumps my lips up a little bit, just the color. This one by Maybelline is called On The, Mo On the Mauve. And it looks like this. I usually don't like colors like this, but this one is not as purple or intense, which I'm gonna show you. I really like this color. I actually like colors like this for my skin tone as well. So even though I'm really white, <laughs> even though I'm really light skinned, I feel that these types of neutral or, um, it's like a warm toned color for the fall, but it's not so hard, you know, if that makes sense. I feel like these colors look really good on me. I think this on the mauve and the one I just showed you by Black Radiance are my two favorites. All right, for this next one, oh, don't judge me because it's a little old. It was under $5 when I got it at the time. Um, it's by CoverGirl. The color has come off because I've had it that long. Like I do remember it was called Flame. And this red, we all need a good red colored lipstick in our collection. Sorry guys. 
sorry I'm having problems with these fibers from that cotton round. But we all need a good red in our collection. You can see how used and abused it is. I've had this for so long. I went to Las Vegas and wore this lipstick and I cannot tell you how many people stopped me and asked me what lipstick I had on. Um, and I went during the winter time. So this is Flame by CoverGirl. It's beautiful. Now when I wore it, I actually used a red lip liner from Avon, I believe. Um, it was like a deep red, but this lipstick is gorgeous. And it just makes you look so, I don't know, it just makes your lips pop. It's so crisp and red in person. Like this camera is not picking it up how it looks in person. It is such a beautiful color. And another thing about this one also is that it's really creamy. It's like a velvety texture. So it's not drying like a lot of um, red lipsticks can be. And a lot of these matte lipsticks can be now. This one does have a slight sheen to it, but it's not sparkly. And um, it's, it's very long wearing. I love this color. I just can't toss this tube and I try to make it last as long as possible because I I've seen it in stores but it's very hard to find so at least around here but um, if you can find it get you one because this color looks good on any skin tone I'm pretty sure I can imagine this on anyone and last but not least is the color you guys have seen before in my other um, videos. This one is the only one that wasn't purchased at Walmart. It was purchased at CVS and it is Milani's Matte Orchid. I've talked about this before and I still love this color. It is very matte so be sure to moisturize your lips before wearing it. But it's such a pretty color. And I think this looks good for a nighttime look. This is so pretty for a nighttime or a daytime look, but I feel that um, even though it's very matte, I haven't had any problems with it being too drying on my lips, but since it is matte, it's very matte. Moisturize your lips. Um, it's always a good idea when you're working with matte colored lipsticks to make sure to moisturize your lips as much as possible. So that wraps up this video guys. Don't forget to head on over to Kelly's channel next to check out her video. Like I said, I went and popped back on that Black Radiance in 5115 because I'm so in love with this color. It's such a soft but beautiful color for the fall time. And I think you guys will love it. So thank you again so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more weekly videos. Also stay tuned to the very end to watch my end slate. It will show you all of my social media connections where you can stay in touch with me. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend and I'll see you next time. Bye. And we'll grow in numbers.